So in this video, I'm going to cover the exciting announcement by Apple of emergency satellite communication by text and location sharing. This will, in time, revolutionise how four-wheel drivers, overlanders and other remote people communicate when they're out remotely. <laughs> So what are we talking about here? Well, it's emergency SOS text messages, so it's not image, it's not uh, voice yet, it's just text messages in emergency situations, plus location sharing, and it's only for Apple iPhone 14 users at this point. And right now it's available in U the USA and Canada as we speak, and in December it's going to be rolled out to France, Germany, Ireland and the UK, and there'll be other countries to follow. Now this is how it works, we'll take the Earth and then we've got the Global Star Satellite Network. Now that's an LEO or Low Earth Orbit Satellite Network. So there's a bunch of satellites about 1400 kilometers above the Earth's surface. And they've got a limited range of coverage as you can see there. So if we've got our person in distress a bit away from one of the satellites, how does that work? Well, they've got their new iPhone 14, but um, the satellites are flying all the way around the Earth and there's 40 of them as well. So they're constantly, there's 40 of them orbiting the Earth at about 1400 kilometers. So you're gonna get in range of one of them sooner or later. So we'll then, um, the iPhone will connect to the satellite over here, it will pass the signal on to another one, to another one, and to another one, until it gets to a ground station. When it gets to a ground station, then it can communicate with the normal internet, phone network, whatever else um, that, that we have there. And there's 24 ground stations in the Global Star network across the world, and Apple has also just invested in Global Star, which is good news because, as every four-wheel driver knows, the Global Star coverage has historically been a bit ordinary. Now, where is the coverage? Well, um, that's a good question. This is Global Star's coverage map. Now, there's several different coverage maps. I've used the Spot for Business coverage map because Spot is a messenger, and that's essentially what uh, Apple is offering with the iPhone 14. So I imagine that this is where it will work, but I'm not 100% on that because there hasn't been a specific coverage map released. Now, even if um, you are in a good coverage area, um, as shown on the map, because you're going to have to wait for a satellite to come into view, um, you won't get the instant response. And even if you send a message, as soon as the satellite comes into uh, view, then the satellite's got to get the message, send it to the ground station, go back. It's going to be a, a different text messaging experience and a slower one and not as rich as what you're used to with your normal iPhone. But it's going to be a lot better than nothing when you're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Now I do want to cover the big satellite myth, which is this. Your current mobile phone, so one of these for example, okay, does not and cannot connect to a satellite network if you have no coverage. Here's the reality of it. You can dial 112 out of any phone um, in pretty much any country and that will connect to the emergency services. Different countries have got different emergency services numbers, so it might be 000, um, as it is in Australia, 999 in the UK or 911 in the USA. 112 will work off your um, pretty much any mobile phone anywhere. Now, you can also um, switch on a mobile phone and when you take a look at it, you can see that it will say emergency call. You press that and you don't even have to have a, a SIM or to unlock the phone. You can then make an emergency call off it. So let's say you're out in the bush, you pick, you pick up someone else's phone or they can't operate it. You don't need to unlock it. You don't even need to have a SIM card in it. It will connect to the network and make an emergency call only. Now, this is where I think the... Um, uh, myth has come from. There's something called camp on. So let's say that you're out in the bush and you've got an Optus phone and uh, you want to call um, the emergency services by 112. Let's say that you don't have range in Optus but you do have service um, in Telstra. Your Optus phone will then use whatever network it can, even a Telstra phone if it's capable of that, um, to make that call. And that's something called camp on, but that's not the same as reaching out to a satellite. Now there's also something called AML, which is the Advanced Mobile Location Service, and that's a handy thing which you can, um, which is built into phones now to give emergency services a bit more information about uh, who is calling in an emergency situation. And of course, there's some emergency services apps you should download and use as well. Okay, so. Let's take a look at what the options are for emergency services. Well, we've obviously got sat phones, distress beacons, messengers, 
sat phone hotspots and internet access systems namely Starlink. Now there's pros and cons of each. They are complementary and overlapping technologies. These will make phone calls and send text messages pretty much anywhere in the world but it will be slower and way more expensive and you might need to wait for the satellites to come in and out um, of range or in the case of uh, something like um, a foray it may not even be in range if you're in um, in, in an area where it doesn't have coverage, you might need to move a little bit. But they do work, and they work in areas outside of normal mobile phone coverage, so they're good for that. The messengers use the same system, but they send text messages you can't actually speak on them, um, and it's sort of you type it, send it, and then it will, the messenger will send and receive as soon as it gets satellite coverage, and that's an option there, and typically a bit cheaper and smaller and lighter. Then we've got the distress beacons. You simply set one of those off and the emergency services will come find you. It's connected to the COSPAS SARSAPS um, international network, but there's no two-way communication on the advantage. It's a one-off cost. There's no subscription fee like with those um, and it's easy to find and carry. Now, this is a PLB, personal located beacon. A lot of four-wheel drive people say it's an EPIRB. It's not an EPIRB. is the marine one and an EOT is the aviation one. And then you've got sat phone hotspots, which I don't really recommend because they're basically a way to use really low speed internet access, broadcast it to your sat phone. I wouldn't look at these. I would look at Starlink, which is what I use on my travels, and that allows you to get internet pretty much anywhere in the world, now all of Australia, with the recent coverage map changes. But it is not, absolutely not an emergency system because it's too big and bulky and it takes too long to set up. If you have a problem, um, you're likely to have a wrecked vehicle or whatever else, then you want one of these, one of these, one of those. You do not want to faff around with setting up a Starlink or one of those. All right, so let's take a look at how this Apple system works then. So you've got your iPhone 14 and you're out of emergency range and it says here, emergency text via satellite. Okay, so you tap that and then it brings you over to this one. Go outside to get the connection, tell, telling you messages will take longer to send um, and answer questions to get a response. So what, are the, um, what do you have to do next? Will you go out, keep pointing at the satellite. Yes, it can see a satellite asks you what the emergency is, how dead are you, um, who needs help, um, anyone injured, best describes the emergency, any of these apply, steep terrain, water, so it walks you through it, basically um, what's wrong with you here. And then it will send the message um, and then you can uh, talk to the emergency responders. So pretty good system. Now, who are these emergency responders? That's not super clear at the moment, but this is what Apple has said so far. Users will be directly committed are connected to emergency services that are equipped to receive text messages or relay centres with Apple trained emergency specialists. Um, so yeah, um, I presume that they're going to hook this into every country's uh, um, emergency response system, but on exactly how that works in different countries isn't yet clear. Now you can also, also share your location non-emergency, so here's a fictional user, Marie Patel, she's shared her location, so again that's something you can do with things like InReach and Spot and various other things, so now you can do it off your phone. Okay, so where and when available? Well, right now it is available in US and Canada, and then France, Germany, Ireland and the UK in December this year, so very shortly, um, and noting that you will need iOS 16.1, so reason to get a uh, new iPhone. Now, the cost, um, well, they say it's going to be free for two years at the time of activation of a new iPhone 14. Um, whether that's going to be free for all countries, don't know. Um, I have no idea what the pricing model will be, but keep an eye on that. Now, this is where we are going in the future. So, T-Mobile, which is a massive um, mobile phone organisation have partnered with Starlink and that's Elon Musk there talking to the CEO of T-Mobile and they're going to get um, technology going which allows you to use mobile phones as mobile phones but effectively as satellite phones as well so when you pick up your phone and talk into it or send messages it will all go via satellite so no local towers and they're actively working on that technology now which is pretty exciting so that will herald the death of the dedicated sat phone as we know it but we are not there yet certainly not in australia so here's the summary things to remember okay right now Continue to use sat phones and satellite messages and distress beacons for remote communications. They, they are not being replaced in Australia as of now, um, definitely not. And your Australian phone of today will not talk to satellite um, phones unless you put it in a special sleeve. And Starlink dishes, 
They are great for internet access remotely, but they are not an emergency comm system. They're too big, bulky, fragile, and difficult to set up. And in the future, all phones are going to become sat phones. That seems to be the, definitely the way things are going now. And you can follow me for more updates. And if you've got any questions on this video, please drop them in the comments. Otherwise, hope you found it useful, and thanks for watching.